This is the Diocese of Lincoln. It's a diocese steeped in history with our famous cathedral and a huge number of beautiful historic church buildings enriching the landscape. But it's also a diocese of industry and technology and the source of a huge amount of our nation's food. Most of all for me, the Diocese of Lincoln is about the warm and welcoming people I've come to know and respect for their straightforward, honest approach. You have been invaluable to my colleagues and me as we work hard to do something extraordinary for the sake of the Kingdom of God. Together we have developed projects and initiatives to fulfil our collective vision for a healthy, vibrant and sustainable church, transforming lives in Greater Lincolnshire. And now we want to make sure that our work is relevant to each and every community of our huge diocese. Um, what excites me about the learning communities and the character areas uh, is that it gives us opportunity to come together uh, and to share some of the good things uh, along with others who are working in the same kind of areas as we uh, are working in. Um, things that we've tried uh, and uh, have been successful, uh, things that we've tried and maybe haven't been so successful but that we can learn from. Uh, and it gives us a chance to engage with uh, some of the national initiatives, some of the national reports, so that we can study them together uh, and then apply them according to the very different situations that we're working in. Um, I enjoy the variety that we have in the town, both uh, the big civic centre church and also the small village churches that we have. I think I'd value the opportunities that I have already to speak with people who work in similar situations. I'd uh, really like the chance to meet more to share good practice, fellowship, and to see how we could improve the work of the church here in Louth. I'd be really interested to get in touch with people who do a similar role to me, whether they be volunteers or whether they be employed members of staff, see if we can pull ideas, share ideas, and see how we can actually get together to actually do uh, projects for the communities. Long Bellington is a wonderful place to live, and there are lots of families and a cross-generational group, group of people in the whole village. Lots of people in my church come from the older age group and so one of the things that would be great out of a learning communities is actually how to reconnect with those younger people. We've got lots of people coming for baptisms but how to move them on and bring them into church. We're doing some things like messy church occasionally but how do we build them and invite them in? Yeah, we want to try and draw the young people in. The, the, the older people are, are valuable um, and, and we appreciate them. Um, but we know that if we, if we don't draw the families in, then the, fam then the church is not going to carry on growing. It's a, an urban parish, so big issues here for low educational attainment and, um, and the job prospects that go with that. It would be good if we could develop some work with our young people, lots of them around and about in the parish. And if there are other churches in similar settings who've developed that kind of work, we'd be very pleased to hear from them. I only joined the diocese in December 2015, so I'm still finding my way around and I'm enjoying every minute of it. I've been struck by the sheer beauty of the landscape and by the contrasts within it. All of our different contexts have challenges, some of them quite hidden, some obvious, and everywhere there are God's people, those who are born and bred Lincolnshire and those who, like me, have moved to the region for a reason. Throughout my varied ministry, I have profoundly believed that we have to live our faith in context, that our mission and ministry must recognise where we are and must be relevant to those with whom we are living that faith and whom we are serving in the name of Jesus Christ. So it's good to meet with, with other Christians, it's good to meet with other Anglicans, it's good to meet with our colleagues and it's, it's good to share all the problems that we've got and discuss them together. And that, I think, would be a good thing to be able to do across the diocese so that people who know the sort of areas we, we live and work in, we can share best practice together. One of the joys of being on an estate like this is the fact that uh, this church is 60 years old and there are people who uh, remember building it. Um, they were part of it. They were being part of the people who laid the stones, uh, built, put the bricks down. Um, although one of the challenges is as this estate has grown and as the community has grown, uh, the people who have their identity uh, in that um, have uh, moved away, grown older, died, and uh, new people have come in. And there is a sort of changing identity to the estate, which uh, does cause some problems. 
Uh, also, there are associated problems with poverty, uh, there's a high level of council housing and things like that. So it would be good um, as part of the uh, mission character areas to meet with other people who are in a place that is similar to this, uh, to be able to share uh, good examples, good practices, to encourage one another. And that's really one of the things that I'm looking forward to most, is being able to talk with others who are in places like this. So one of the things I really like about working in this area is working in collaboration with other similar parishes. Um, there's a few others and we call ourselves the Coastal Cluster and by working together we can plan our services across several churches and share our resources and it enables us to do teaching and other groups that we could none of us do alone. Learning communities offer us a unique opportunity to develop ministry and mission in context. We can learn from each other. I look forward to doing this with you. Uh, and it gives us opportunity too just to explore uh, our faithful worship, confident discipleship, joyful service priorities uh, according to those different areas that we're working in so that we learn from each other, so that we encourage each other, so that we support each other uh, in becoming the kinds of churches that God wants us to be as we serve the people of Greater Lincolnshire. We can all work in partnership to make the most of our strengths and our sense of community. We want to make this our way of working, putting in place projects, guidance and learning that's relevant to where people live. We want to put our faith into context. I hope you will embrace this collaborative way of working with the spirit and generosity which I have been privileged to enjoy since coming to Lincolnshire. And I look forward to working with you as we grow ever more faithful in developing excellent and enjoyable worship more confident in developing and growing discipleship in our communities and more joyful in our service to each other and to Jesus Christ.